Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. What do you want from me? No monkey. Come on, can I come and scream? Huh? Take him. Let me get this together. You didn't do that. Say what up. It's your boy, Dude Mungus. What up? What it do? We're back today. Uh, dang it. I done covered it up because I done opened it. Uh, hold on. Let me get this set up and I will show no, you guys okay. while we're here today. But I am freaking excited. Boom shakalaka. We got our Bonamichi levers in. Dude, I am so excited to get these levers on. Um, these are going to look really good uh, really good quality um super heavy duty and they even got the cut in them uh i forget what that cut is called i'm gonna figure it out and uh put it in uh in the title but i forget what that cut is called but it allows so when you get to a certain speed this pass through um it allows pressure not to be built up on the lever and not to slightly push uh when you're up at speed but these Bonamichi levers are super light, uh, super heavy duty. This is the clutch lever, clutch, clutch side. Oh, I'm super excited for this, man, to get these installed. Shout out to my sponsor, Stage 3, for hooking me up with these. Uh, I am, oh my God, I am so excited to get these on. I contacted him and I was like, yo, I'm looking for some levers. He was like, yo, I got you covered. Bonamichi makes some levers. Uh, even though this is a jet bike, y'all know I'm coming from the Italian stallion death shot. So I had to get some Italian up in this piece. But man, I am excited. These are stock length. This will be the first time I actually ever have used stock length. Uh, so there, you can see they're just a little bit shorter than what the stock is. But still, it is going to work good. So let's get this process started and we will be good to go. We're going to start with the brake side. I'm going to need a 10 millimeter. Uh, let's see. We got this nut on the back side. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it in the camera. Oh man. But it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, you got this nut right here. That nut we got to get off. And then we'll unscrew the top and it'll pull right out. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by loosening this one at the bottom. Super easy job. Uh, Y'all seen I recently did this on the ZX-10 as well. Uh, so I'm trying this out first. If this doesn't work or add a better feel to the brake lever, I will definitely be doing the master cylinder. But the brakes are slowly but surely starting to feel better to me because I believe I'm, I'm understanding what Suzuki meant when they uh, created this braking system. In the instructions it tells you it's a uh, it's not that bad so in the instructions tells you on the brake lever with the adjustable you got this uh got this here that you will be installing i'm gonna follow what the picture is doing and install this on the back side of that screw it down we're gonna use a little bit of loctite and then we'll be good to go uh, i can't do this and film at the same time so let me get that done and i'll come back with the finished product not to take much, just a little thread locker on there. We don't want this going anywhere, just a little bit. Like I said, don't take much. And literally, we're just literally mimicking what the picture said, dude. And y'all know me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tacky Magoo. I ain't gonna use too much, but I'm gonna use enough to uh, definitely get the job done. Now, this is oil from the factory less than 2,000 miles so there technically should be nothing wrong with it and what was on there should be enough but look I don't mind a little extra and wiping off the access to make sure I have smooth operation so it uses the stock plunger that's already on here plus it already has whatever this is it already has this on the already has this on the inside so literally this is a really easy swap all right so I got it lined up best I could see it looks to be lined up it's really weird to see but you want to have it you can see where it's on that underside because there's you can mount it in a bunch of different ways but make sure it's on that underside when you do it that way your brake will still work i'm just going to start this 
And then what I want to do, I just want to test to make sure I got it right. Gonna make sure the brake comes on. So we got it right. All right, now I can finish locking it in. What I do, I screw it in as soon as I feel threats coming through on the bottom end, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this nut in on the bottom. That way it can get started. Once it starts to spin, I will add this in at the bottom and finish locking it in. All right, and again, you hear the clicking. I just want to double check the brakes are working. Bam, you're good to go. That's one side done. Just jump to the other side. All right, now we're over here on the clutch side, which really isn't much instruction for the clutch side. It only gave instruction for the brake side. Um, but clutch side is pretty simple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna loosen the clutch and I'm gonna count how many clicks I do to loosen the clutch. That way when I get done, I'll put it back to that same amount of clicks. Um, but this really shouldn't be, uh, I don't see it being too bad. So let's, uh, let's dive into it. Clutch is loose. Let's see what we're working with underneath. You can see under here. You can see right there. Uh, you know what? It is really tough to see. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Right there. It's a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen that up, and this lever will come out. Man, so dude, you don't play. They put this stuff on tight. Just a bolt and a nut on the end. Uh oh, okay. Washer in the middle. All right, and uh, so this is what you got. This is what we got on the old one. This is what we got on the new one. So they gave us a piece that we're gonna have to mount on the new one to make it look like the old one. So they gave us this piece. So with this in that position, it should kind of mimic what we got going on there. If that, uh, if you can see that. That's what it should mimic. So that's what we're gonna go for. They also gave us this, uh, it's hard to see, but this little washer. So this is gonna go underneath here to bring it out a little bit more. Give us a nut, put that through here. I'm gonna test fit this before I actually put the Loctite on. Throw a little Loctite on here. Don't need you going anywhere. The long one goes on first, and this little spacer goes at the bottom. And then now it will screw in. Just kind of hold it in the position that you need it and go ahead and lock it down. And again, I'm gonna let this sit overnight because I'm not planning on riding anytime soon. Y'all know me, Mr. Tacky Goo McGee. We gotta get some tacky up in this piece. know me I like to test everything we get you can hear the safety switch activated do you do that so I apologize my camera literally keeps overheating because it's in the garage normally I have my fan on but I didn't do it but did it super easy um, you just pretty much reverse the process this sticking a little eyelet holes and because you loosened it up all the way you just pull it to fit back in and you literally just turn it back to your desired uh, level now i know i went four clicks so i'm just gonna turn it back to four clicks um i'm gonna go ahead and do this because i can't do it with one hand uh and then i'll be back once i'm done
Order. Thank you for watching, dude. No monkey. No monkey. Thank you for watching, dudes. No monkey.